have the value of capital. My name is Isha Fazi and my project is Lamp Growth. My question is, how does different kinds of water affect plant growth? Determine which one is the most cost efficient. The type of water I use is alkaline, which has high pH, distilled, which has pure H2O, tap, salted sugar, which is 3.5 concentrated, rain, which is just melted snow. So my hypothesis is the rain is going to be the fastest and uh, the tallest is because Mother Nature knows best for plants. In the materials I use, something to note is that I use long bead fans and I use graduated filters to measure the volume of water. I gave the fan a picture of some are on the left. These are the controls of the experiment. You can pause the video and read them if you want. I controlled them because they can affect the plant growth and I want Make sure that the type of water is the only thing affecting the plant growth. These are the variables. The independent variable is the one I control with is the type of water. I ensure the water quality by the tester, the city, and the company that bottle and purify the water. The only thing I did was make the sugar and salt water. The dependent variable is the one I measured, which is plant growth rate, which I measured with a ruler. The procedure is very simple. I put the soil into the cups up to the middle line on the cup. Then I planted the seeds three centimeters down in the soil. After that, I watered them, giving each 20 milliliters of water. Then I planted them, and then I put them in, in sunlight and watered them every day finally. So finally, I measured them on day 8 and day 22. I have five trials of each type of water, so that I could, could have the average amount of plant growth. These are some pictures of the process. These are the results of my experiment. Here we can see the final height of the plants. Rain grew the most out of all of them. Here's the calculations I did to determine the growth rate in centimeters per day from this graph. We can that rain grew the fastest, alkaline and distilled were similar, followed by tap and sugar, and salt had no growth. Here is a ranking of the most growth and most cost efficiency. As we can see, rain is the best overall because it grew the most and it is free. Others in in the cost effective section were done based on, on how much they costed and their growth. So, with tap number two, followed by distilled sugar, alkaline, because they cost more to get and the bottom salt because it, it was not effective at all. The science behind the results rain was the most effective effective because it had minerals and nutrients that were carried by the nutrient cycles cycle which helped the plants plant and microorganisms that help the plant grow. More alkaline water the the microorganisms that help the plant are not sensitive to the higher pH of alkaline water. And some actually benefit, so it did not affect the plant growth that much. The sugar water plants don't need sugar for photosynthesis, so it was just reducing how much water 
approximate actual cost, cost is approximate total less. <laughs> For it, we will be our budget in tap, water, pump, slider, and treatment. Okay, it acts as this disruptive and so little microorganisms that lives need to fully uh, recycle the trees to grow, so they did not grow as much. There's still water, no minerals or nutrients to help plants and the microorganisms in here, so the plant grew less and smaller. Salt water had no growth because the salt held the water captive, such that the plant could not use the water for photosynthesis, therefore it could not grow. Here are my resources. Thank you for listening. Yeah.